Here is a cross section of a very large tree that was cut down. It looks like maybe it was even cut down maybe only one year or two years ago. But uh, this is really, really big and a great example of how trees grow. And a tree grows essentially like a candle. When you dip it into wax, it puts a whole new layer of wax on the, on the outside of the candle. Well, a tree grows the same way where every year it grows a new ring and essentially develops and gets larger and, lar and more round. You can see how, how large this one actually is. Really, really big. Um, I counted the rings and the rings of the tree are a little over 450. So this tree is, could be even a little older than that, but at least 450 years old. And that would be close to an old growth tree. They can definitely get older than that. They can get much, much older than that, but um, because they get cut down so quickly and so fast, we don't allow them to grow big enough. And that's one reason why we want to think about how much wood that we use and how fast we build houses and how many houses that we actually need and how big the houses should be. You can see the rings here when I get closer. The center rings there are larger because the the tree was growing faster at that rate. Whereas on the outside of it, you can see the rings are much, much closer together. So once again, growing, just like you're dipping a candle in wax and putting a whole new layer of wax on it, a tree grows the same way where every year it puts a whole new layer of tree and bark on the outside of it. And the bark actually mainly protects it from fire. So you can see how thick the bark is there at that part. And that's not actually any of the rings of the tree. That's just the bark that protects the, the tree. Whereas the rings actually start right in here. This is where the rings are actually starting. And that's how you can tell how old the tree is.